I think we could see another team be added to that mix. The Denver Nuggets, who just won an NBA championship, their first NBA championship. The Nuggets, by the way, they started their season in training camp in San Diego at UCSD. So congrats to them. He owns the Colorado Avalanche. He owns the Colorado MLS team, I believe. He owns the Los Angeles Rams. So he owns a ton. And and that's just not, those aren't the only teams. Those are just like the major teams that he owns. Maybe I skipped over one. So he owns a lot of teams. So you see that. And he has a ton of money, obviously. Billionaire Stan Kroenke joins this group. Why? My immediate thought was, or my immediate question, why would he join this group? if he didn't intend to bring another team. Is he joining this group, 90% investor, that's going to have, that's going to build a 16,000 seat arena, 4,250 residential units, 200 room hotel, and there's more onto that. Why would he invest in this and pretty much all by himself uh, finance this project if he didn't want to bring a new team to be in that arena, right? And this is not like 2024, they're going to have another team. Like this is a long way down the road. Like they haven't broken ground on this. Uh, It needs to get built, obviously. Leagues have to expand or announce that they're moving a team. And is San Diego at the top of that list? Like there's a lot of things here. But with Stan Kroenke joining this group, like this project, I think it's definitely going to get done because. Stan Kroenke has a history of getting things done, right? And I think it improves the chances of a team coming here. Now, people, I know there's a lot of speculation of, oh, I know, well, people were joking about the San Diego Nuggets thing, right? Like the Nuggets, they're not moving, obviously. But some were like, oh, NBA team may be coming here. NHL team may be coming here. Hmm. I'm not even focusing on that because... NBA, he owns the Nuggets. You can't own two teams in the NBA. Okay? The NHL, he already owns an NHL team. Like, you can't have two teams in the NHL as an owner. So, I don't see an NBA or an NHL team coming to San Diego. I guess a there could be a, look, there could be an owner who comes into San Diego and Kroenke just owns the arena. But you would think that he wants to own the team that's in the arena. I would imagine, right? Like his arena, he would want to own that team that's the major team that's playing in it. So what I'm looking at is like maybe WNBA. Like I would love to have a WNBA team here. Um, I'm a huge WNBA fan. I know San Diego, that's not talked about. The WNBA is not talked about. And obviously all of the the main thought is going to go into like NHL, like the Coyotes, right? Because of their situation or the NBA. But things have to happen for that, right? Things have to happen for the WNBA too. But I'm just thinking like, well, he he already owns an NBA team. So I just, I don't know if I see an NBA team coming here. Uh, uh, Look, they could expand and a new owner could be in the building with Kroenke owning it. But I I just, there's, when I'm looking at the expansion talk in NBA, there are teams that are on their priority list already ahead of San Diego. So where does San Diego now San Diego might rise on that if they, you know, if this arena happens, maybe it will, but now it's not on that list. I have not heard San Diego as a destination, but now with this arena, hopefully getting done, it could, it could get onto that list. It's not on the list right now, but if there's an arena there, it could be on that list. So who knows? Uh, But he can't own two NBA teams can't own two NHL teams, right? So if Kroenke's going to be an owner of a team, a major team in this arena, he could go purchase a WNBA team, an expansion WNBA team. And I haven't heard San Diego mentioned in the WNBA comp- uh, conversation at all. But we, we see how they have shown up for the women's soccer team. And this would be the professional basketball team in town. So would show up for that for sure. So, and, and there's been some women's basketball talent like Kelsey Plum from the area. 
so you have you put a face, a big face on the franchise that could have success as well. Um, so I'm hoping that that happens. Like NBA, you know, that'd be great. NHL, that'd be great. But I'm looking at like WNBA. And I go back to my question, Stan Kroenke, or my immediate question. He's just going to invest, spend all this money for this property to just continue to have the San Diego Soccers and San Diego Bulls be the main team in that arena. I don't think so. I mean, I guess he could just do this so uh, better concerts could come to the arena or UFC could make more consistent stops at the arena. Maybe that's why, but I see him bringing in a team. Like you make, you're spending this much money on this, investing this much money into a San Diego project and you're seeing the success in San Diego with its sports franchises, I think his mind is trying to, his mind is uh, pointing towards or eyeing. Yeah. Let's, let's bring another team in here. I think that's cool. And I, I think it's, it's funny that he is investing in a market that one of his tenants at SoFi stadium left. Obviously Dean Spanos leaves San Diego to go be under Stan Kroenke and be under that building because it's not Dean Spanos's building. Uh, Stan Kroenke owns that. So, uh, you know, Stan Kroenke, he's being smart. Like, he knows what's going on in San Diego. So, that's cool. I I don't think you can be mad about the news. I, I think it's it's only good. If they don't get another team, like going back to my state of San Diego sports thing, we're still in a great spot. MLS coming, the Padres, the Aztecs, hopefully going to a major conference here soon. The San Diego Wave are contending. They're going to be contending year in, year out. It seems like they have, obviously, one of the biggest female sports stars in the world on their team. Like, San Diego is in a good spot. It is. It's in a good spot sports-wise. So even if they don't get another team, I'm still happy with what we've got and I'm going to appreciate the heck out of what we got, but this could be a fun thing, obviously to keep an eye on here in the future.